Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube tutorial. It's your homeboy Ricky Liz, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play Holiday by Rema. Holiday by Rema. <laughs> First, you go be the bad guy, then you go be the actor. Because I won't feed my family, now you make a thief my own guy laptop. <laughs> I think that's why I do the lyrics too. But yeah, that's how to play it. That's the sound. Alright, so the first thing you need to know about this song is that this song is sung on the key of F sharp. On the key of F sharp and your chords were simply your Re, Mi, Fa, Fa, So, Do. So that is your G sharp minor 7. See your A sharp minor 7. See your B major. And then to your C sharp major. And then to your F sharp major, which is your do. Okay, as you can see on your screen, first your G sharp minor seven, your A sharp minor seven, your B major, your C sharp major, and then your F major. All right, so let me break it down on how you could hold these chords. So the first chord, which is your G sharp minor seven, um, how you can play that is simply place your index finger on the fourth fret. And then you're going to be bent from your sixth down to your first string. Yeah, just like that. And then place your ring finger on the sixth fret of your fifth string. Yeah. That's also with your G sharp minor seven. Now your A sharp minor seven is more or less the same. It's the same chord shape. Uh, it's just the position that differs. So all you have to do is, you know, after you figure out getting your G sharp minor seven, just take it to step forward, and then you have your A sharp minor seven, just like that. So that's your A sharp minor seven, and then your B major. Your B major is simply placing your index finger on the seventh fret, and then you're bending from your six down to your first string just like that then after doing that place your ring finger on the ninth fret of your fifth string your pinky finger on the ninth fret of your fourth string your middle finger on the eighth fret of your third string just like that now you can hold it two ways you can hold it this way or you can hold it this way but i kind of like this voicing And then after doing that you go to your C sharp major. And your C sharp major is kind of like tricky to hold because um, different people hold it different ways. Some hold it this way, some hold it this way. It's still the same position and it's just how or where you place your fingers. Now me personally I hold it this way. I place my index finger on the fourth fret and then I'm bending from the fifth string down to your first string just like that and then I use my ring finger to bear just my fourth, my third and then my second string and then this is open and it's open to your bear here yeah. so it's kind of like tricky for some so if you find this difficult to hold an alternative way to hold it is after bearing with your index finger on the fourth fret you place your middle finger on the 6th fret of your 4th string your ring finger on the 6th fret of your 3rd string and then your pinky finger on the 6th fret of your 2nd string and you hold it that way just like that, this way you are both correct it's just which one you are more convenient with so that's for your C sharp major and then if you take it 2 step backward it becomes your B major which is also this that same cut shape if you take it back to step backward you know, the major. but I prefer you hold it like this the way I showed us earlier and then we go to our F sharp major now F sharp major is simply the same uh, cut shape of our B major we held here but then doing that on the second fret of your guitar so I'll still break it down to you though 
So all you have to do is place your index finger on the second fret and then bear from your sixth string downward. And then place your ring finger on the fourth fret of your fifth string, your pinky finger on the fourth fret of your fourth string, and then your middle finger on the third fret of your third string. Just like that. So that's it. So you have the chords D sharp minor seven to a A sharp minor seven to a B major to a C sharp major. So to a B major, then C sharp major and A sharp major. So first you go be the bad guy, then you go be the actor. Because I won't feed my family, now you make a chief my own guy laptop. No matter, and then keep going. Alright, so I'll break down a strumming pattern you can use for this. Alright, so the strumming pattern you could use for this is. Um, you can strum in any way, basically, because um, the song is an I'm a piano song. I'm a piano, so um, it, it has more groove to it. Something you can, you know, categorically get, you know, strumming the guitar, you know, getting that groove. But we could try and imitate or, you know, use a strumming pattern that has a little bit of bounce that could, you know, substitute for it. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, down. break it down so you do it down up then release the tension of your string of of pressing the chords on the strings yeah so do it up up down up down up up down up up then goes to the next chord down down Tension up down up up then fix by the tension and the next chord down down then down up up down up up down down just like that down down up up down up up down down yeah that's how you could do it or best thing you could just a down stroke it works or you could alternatively pick the string Depends on your approach of how you want to like sing the song or play around the song basically. So that's that's how I play holiday <laughs> by Rema. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share this video to your friends, enemies, family, <laughs> anyone, anyone you feel needs to learn, you know, or need to come to my channel because there are a lot of things I do on my channel. Very interesting stuff. So subscribe. Till next time, peace.